Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firestein Tarot. We're keeping it going today on Tarot Tuesday. Mm. Pisces, you're up for the month of June. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. The message can be the cards. You choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be, but vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at Fire Sign Territory. Everybody's always welcome. And I love it when people stop by to hang out. Thanks for coming down. If you're new here, I want you to hit the notification bell. Well, you got to hit the subscribe button first. But you know what I mean. Hit the like button if you so choose. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Just having you here right now in this moment's enough. Thanks for coming by. And my Chromebook's doing that stupid thing where it tries to clean itself again. Hold on. I hate that. Stop. There we go. Okay. Okay, really? Blast it all. Okay, we're back. Where was I? Oh. <laughs> Two quick things before I do the invocation and throw your cards down, Pisces. <laughs> One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's a terrible idea. Don't do it. I don't recommend it. I've been reading tarot for quite a while now, and I would never make it a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading ever again, because I've done it before. Not going to lie. I, I, I shouldn't say that I would never in a million years do that, because I've done that, and I've felt the repercussions of it, so just don't do it. Two, it's not your reading, not your story, not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your message, Pisces. That's not how tarot works. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us again today. Let's bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Pisces, why are you here? Page of Swords. Hmm. Could be some truths coming out. He's our little messenger of truth. And sometimes it's things we don't always want to hear. What happened? King of Cups. Holding a cup for somebody. Hmm. Okay. Queen of Wands. That is not a matched pair. But it is a pair. Nonetheless. Water versus fire. Could be a water or a fire sign you're dealing with. Look at him. Look at her. Look at him. Look at her. I mean, insert whatever pronoun you want, but there's definitely a connection here. What's going on right now? The moon. Oh, gosh. Of course it's the moon. Might have something to do with the moon. Could be another Pisces you're dealing with. Or... Things are obscured. I'm not seeing things clearly. For whatever reason. It's like the fun house mirrors, man. Things always look different in the moonlight than they do in the sunshine, don't they? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Stop doing that thing. You can clean when I'm done. God, stop. And the hangman reversed. I don't see you putting any energy into it, but I also see you being hung up on it. Bottom of the deck going on with them. Six of Cups reversed. Ooh, bitter feelings. Salt and the sugar. Mm. 
I'm going to have to get clarity on this page of swords. I don't think this conversation went well at all. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Cups. Empress reversed. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Universe source and spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Pisces, please? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June If I'm quiet, just give me a second. Why the Six of Cups reversed? Okay, so the Emperor is sitting next to a page of swords right now, which means uh, not only did the conversation not go very well, but um, Pisces, I think you stood up and said, you know what, this, this has got to be my way. I'm looking for my empress. Shadow side. Why the shadow side? Shadow side next to a six. Nine of swords. Okay. Can I get one on the shadow sign and nine of swords, please? Before I speak. The moon. The moon. Why are you so obsessed with me? This caused them some freaking anxiety. Like, I, I think they took that the right... I'm getting a sense that things may have moved a little bit quickly, Pisces, and this kind of caused them a little bit of anxiety. Like, I don't know if I want to go down this road. I don't know if I have all the information I need because you're saying you want your empress. Why would that? 
I don't know who you're dealing with, but apparently, insert, okay, insert whatever noun or pronoun works for you. Just, just hear me out, okay? Because this Empress Reverse down here in the future, they not all about being the Empress. Why is the King of Cups here? Why the Eight of Wands reversed? I have a cup for you. Things aren't moving at the speed I want them to go, but I'll wait. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? High Priestess, they feel it too. Why the High Priestess? Five of Cups. There's sadness. There's an incomplete cycle here. There's an incomplete cycle in their part, possibly. There's something that still has them bummed out. And it doesn't matter how big your cup is, Pisces. They may not be ready. They feel the connection. But they got left, has something left hanging out there. Why the Queen of Wands? High Priest in Strength. fire burns and the fire stirs. Why the high priest in strength? You're ready to move forward. Two of wands upright. Knight of wands reversed, but it's stuck. You're ready to move forward, but something's holding it back. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Lovers reversed. Pisces. Why the lovers reversed? Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. I got just about everybody on the board at this point. Queen of Cups. Five of Swords reversed. The connection's there. The feelings are there. Somebody doesn't want to give up their independence. Somebody may feel like you're a little bit clingy. They're afraid to say anything, though. They were afraid to say anything. Up until that point. The Queen of Wands is extremely independent. Just throwing that out there. She does her thing. And try to take that away from her. <laughs> she ain't having it. She ain't having it at all. She's probably the most independent of the queens. She don't need her king. It's nice to have him around, but she don't need him. Why the moon? Why the moon? Why the moon in the present? Why the moon? Three of cups. Mm. Yeah. There may be a third party involved. Could possibly be. Second three. Actually, yeah, it's second three. Page of cups. There may be somebody else involved. <sighs> Maybe it's, I'm not saying, sensing that you're not saying how you feel, but it's not being reciprocated. Like they're not saying it back. Probably because you, they're a little bit scared. 
They're all up in arms, like, oh my god, it's up here, I don't know where this is going or why. Why is, why is the Nine of Cups here? Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, honest conversations. The wheel reversed again. I'm hearing the words, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's not broken, why are we fixing it? So I think you may have been playing together for a minute. Somebody's ready to take it to the like next level. And the other person's like, no, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're happy. Why, what are we doing? But I think they're saying it because they left some hanging out there. There may be a third party involved. And okay, not necessarily if somebody's cheating. That's not where I'm trying to go with that. But if you're dealing with someone who's still energetically attached to somebody else, you're not going to get them to move on with you. Which you shouldn't. At least I wouldn't. Unless you don't know that that attachment's there. Okay, coming into the future. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? The Hermit. I don't see you putting any more energy into this. I see you going off on your own. I'm, I'm feeling the I can't be your Empress conversations coming. I can't be who you need me to be. Why is the Empress reversed here? Queen of Wands reversed. I'm not moving forward with this. I can't be your empress. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. One more on this Queen of Wands reversed. I am so sorry, Pisces. Knight of Pentacles. I mean, that's a shining... It's a little bit of a ray of hope. If this is what you want, maybe they just need a little bit more time. Maybe it's going to be, I can't do it right now type situation. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean... If it resonates, cool. They might just need more time. Why is the hanging man here? Nine of Cups reversed. Ah. Six of Swords on top of... Six of Swords are... Wow. Wait a minute. One more on this Nine of Cups reversed. One more on that. Because I see you, like, being all emotionally hung up and unhappy. Possibly filling your cups with negative things. Temperance reversed. There's no negative energy between you. I don't know about that. Off balance. Why the Six of Swords reversed? Karma. Reversal of judgment and resurrecting something. You gotta give this time. You have to give this the time it needs. One on this. Give me one for this. I see them returning, but the question is, who are they returning to? Four of Wands, reversed. I see you slamming the door when they do return. Nope, you had your shot, you blew it. Nope, you decided you didn't want to be my Empress Spine. I'll go out and find my own. I'll go out and find another empress. You do with that what you want, Pisces. Do what you want. Do what you want. There's salt in the sugar. There's salt in the sugar at this point. Let's 
Get your advice. Four of Pentacles upright in Hierophant. Six of Swords in the world. At the very least, whoever this is for, and, and again, the, the advice may or may not have a damn thing to do with the reading. Okay? <laughs> Maybe it's just something somebody needs to hear. Hold on to the good stuff. Hold on to the lesson that you learned. And let that be the only thing you hold on to over this. You get, Okay, you have to hang on to the positive stuff. And release the negative crap. Because if you fail to release the negative crap. What happens? You repeat the cycle all over again with another person. Because you take all that negative crap. And you throw it at the next person that comes along. And you punish somebody who did nothing wrong for something someone else did. Don't do that. You have to, six of swords in the world, move on from it and let the cycle close and let it go. Six of cups and death, ace of wands, eight of cups. I love this one. I really do. I really love this one. Best piece of advice anybody can ever give anybody. Soulmates come into our lives to steer us down the path we're supposed to go down. They are not always meant to stay. They come into our lives to help the evolution of the soul. And sometimes that is the only purpose. So if an old soul from many lifetimes ago came back to help you on your evolution to help start a fire in you to help you move on from something that you needed to move on from you need to be eternally grateful to that soul and don't hold any ill will I know it's hard I know it's hard sometimes people come in and they just you know rain on our parade or piss in our Cheerios whatever and that can cause bitterness. Don't allow it to cause bitterness. Don't hold on to that. Be grateful. And I have moments like that. I had a moment like that last night. I'll admit, I, I sent a text to an old boyfriend. And I was just... Ugh. But, at the end of it, I am still eternally grateful to you for everything you did for me. But it is what it is. Okay. I love you guys. Pisces, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for coming by. And I will catch you guys in July, if not sooner. Love you. Be blessed.